So shall we take questions from the floor? No, Mr. Park, how much of your road development in your designing and improving roads is affected by the arches you make? Do you get feedback? Yeah. How does it affect your design and your road? I have uh, started to develop the uh, uh, roads now 20, 24 years uh, before uh, I had been uh, Korean National Team headquarters for a long time. So uh, when I uh, started to develop the boards, uh, it was uh, very helpful as a uh, uh, Korean National Team archers or uh, Korean National Team headquarters for a long time in, in, with uh, my experience. So still uh, in 24 years and then in the future also, uh, I never forget to de develop the pro uh, de develop the boards. So I cannot say how many times, but uh, always I'm thinking the boards when I look at the archer shooting and when I uh, tested the boards. So always I'm thinking, and when I look at the other uh, sports production and uh, bicycle or uh, tennis and uh, especially the golf, golf need uh, uh, also very accuracy product, accuracy sticks they need. So all of them, always I'm thinking to develop the balls. So now in my company, produce a new production in two weeks, every two weeks. Not all is the same, but every is uh, uh, your boys uh, presented uh, in two weeks, uh, two years. Uh, so even in this time, I present new boys, but still uh, continue thinking to develop for next uh, production. I have a question for Mr. Koo. Yeah. So now he's he's won the Olympics, which is the ultimate goal for nearly every archer. How does he, he reset now and think for the next four years to defend or um, and keep going? And between now and then, what is important to him? Does he feel more pressure as well? Uh, 지금 이제 올림픽을 이기, 이겼잖아요. 네. 다시 이제 어, 어, 선, 다시 이제 다음 대회를 준비를 해야 되는데 이제 어떻게 준비하는 게 어, 어, 좋겠느냐? 어떻게 준비를 하고 있느냐? 뭐 딱히 뭐더할건 없고요. 그냥 원래 해왔던 대로 하면서 이제 매년 선발전을 하잖아요. 저희가 또 워낙 한국에는 증쟁하는 선수들이 많기 때문에 일단 하루하루 열심히 하면서 최대한 준비를 잘해서 또 4년 뒤에 그때 기회가 온다면 또 열심히 또 그에 맞춰서 해봐야죠. Now he doesn't have a special schedule for next steps. Only you know the in Korea the selection game is a very serious. It's a very <coughs> uh, top tier. The selection game is more difficult than Olympics, they said. If uh, they success at the selection game, must be get, must be, must get the uh, winner at the Olympics. Many, uh, in Korea, they said like that. So uh, now uh, he's preparing for already the next uh, selection game. <coughs> so if uh, he prepared very well to success at the each selection games, uh, must be at the Olympics, uh, his answer. Yeah. Uh, nutrition and hydration is obviously a big part of preparing yourself for a competition. I was wondering how <coughs> each archer uh, kind of makes that part of their competition preparation. To who? All of the Um Nutrition, just to repeat the question, nutrition, hydration. How do you make it, what do you do to prepare for a competition in terms of preparing yourself through what you eat and what you drink? Um, what the fluid intake is important. Um, and yeah, we do. Uh, we've got various color charts which we would uh, check our urine against. Um, 
We've, we've done quite a lot of work actually research into you know, keeping hydrated during competition and, and uh, keeping your electrolytes up. Um, so, yeah, I mean, during a competition is a, a must to keep your concentration levels high. And um, nutrition, um, again, you don't want to be peaking in um, your body trying to process food or at, at the wrong times. Um, sometimes, though, when you go internationally, you don't have a choice about what you eat. So you have to prepare for those scenarios as well. Um, but it all has a, a massive impact on the, the moment <coughs> of you, you shooting, you know, and being in the right place at the right time um, with your body condition. So I, I think that um, my nutrition is one of the definitely a big big help or big helping factor to where I where, what I've achieved in archery. And um, the main piece of advice I'd give you is have a large brown brown sort of whole meal carbohydrate meal the night before. That gives your body a lot of energy in terms of muscle glycogen to use for shooting the next day. Then while you're actually competing, drink small and regularly. Don't have a big, uh, a big bottle of water and down it all in one go because your body will just flush it straight out. So you want to have small sips maybe every other end when you, you're the, the first detail up so you've got a bit of time. And also you want to eat small and regularly while you're competing as well. Because for exactly the same reason, that then gives your body a continual supply of energy to use while you actually compete. だけ、ウィンシュティングの、ウィンシュティングが始まる。なお、おじじ、シャープテストモーシングのシャープ気長で探す。なおしね、デピティ、デピティメスタロ、ヤンヤンが言ったことある。で、ヤンヤンが。あ
in case of the, uh, the <coughs> bamboo or the natural many kind of material, so I have uh, used it. So include wood, wood, wood core, wood core. In case of the wood core, the best material is uh, uh, hard maples. Hard maple is best material. That is a uh, proved for long time. It's not uh, these days. Uh, several uh, hundred years ago, uh, is uh, tested. Uh, many technicians uh, is uh, proved the best one material is uh, wood, uh, hard core. I have tested uh, bamboo also. It uh, cannot compare with the hard hard maple. Still, uh, I. I know that the best wood material is hard maple. So we developed uh, uh, the new material better than uh, hard maple, better than hard maple. That is uh, one of the important points uh, to develop the bones. Out of all the shrimp materials out on the market these days, have you found any shrimp material works better with your type of bones? Like 8.25G, 8.90, is there anything that shouldn't be used? Or anything that works better? That's all for everybody. Have you ever found anything that works better than the other? Okay, um, I've tested um, a lot of string material over the years. <clears throat> and um, I've had pretty good performances with, uh, with all the strings for Flash Flight 8.125. Um, and they do all tune up differently. So. Um, for my for my consistency side of it now, I've gone. I'm shooting eight one two five. Um, who shoots fast flight? Name who shoots fast flight? Patrick. BCYX. BCYX, and they got <laughs> very different. You know, so it, it, the string. You know what I like from a string is is no creep, um, and to be quite snappy and punchy and, and fast, which is what I'm getting from an eight one two five. Um, with with a fast flight, it's a little bit. Um, a bit more spongier, a bit more forgiving. Um. I'm a manufacturer, so yeah. <laughs> I uh, talked about it, the difference between many kind of uh, uh, string. There is a, what is that? Uh, I can say like it. Very strong one, very steep one, and uh, flexible one. So what is different bet between all that? For is, uh, what I talk is, uh, there is a busy one, it's a very steep one, light one, and the uh, FF is a little flex one. It's not flex, but compared to uh, BCY is something, there is many kind of uh, uh, dynamic string, and uh, many uh, strings developed uh, for steep, light, to get speed, is uh, developed like that. FF is a little flexible than uh, Bishwai or the other, so many kind of string uh, material. And uh, in case of, there is a, uh, many, the other more flexible uh, string we have. But now, just I think, uh, uh, still fast uh, flight is better than Bishwai. <coughs> the reason is uh, just for speed or to observe humanity or uh, what is that? There's many kind of uh, uh, the effect of uh, string, just for string, just for uh, that is a more steep one is better. But look at the bows, in, in case of the bows, is the string is too steep one makes more shock, more shock. It's, uh, can uh, be changing the, the bow uh, performance, bow performance. So what I mean is that for the bows, a little too much is, uh, the steep one is not so good for bow performance. So still, the best archers uh, prefer to use the fast flight. Only look at the, the string performance, the steep one is better, better. The light one is better, but to get more speed, to get more, uh, what is that? I don't uh, know exactly the English words, but I, th I think you can understand what I mean is that. Too much uh, steep one is uh, no good for bows. 
because I'm born man painter. I think already you know, you know that how his life is changed. Like he was, then I know well, then I just, after all, to to, I got to develop as well. So, more and more, I want to be the best player that I can be. Just he said that he wants to make effort more than before, but actually. Uh, his life uh, could be changed because he got big money. <laughs> but uh, he's scared. <laughs> so, uh, still, he, uh, still he's uh, young, 23 years old, so still he has a chance uh, to get one more gold medal at the next Olympics. So just he wants to concentrate to the next target. His meaning is there. Okay. What is their best memory of shooting? Best, best memory. Best memory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think my, my best memory of shooting was probably the 2013 World Youth Championships where I won individual and um, mixed team gold with Becky Martin within the space of maybe an hour or so. It was a pretty incredible experience. So many. I don't know. Yeah, there's many, many good experiences. Um, I suppose winning gold medal at the, the World Games in 2013. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, for me, my, my best uh, memory, I think, is winning my Olympic spot in 2004 at the Belgium European Championships, and then <clears throat> my you know, my dream of making the Olympic Games yeah. became a reality and then I had two months to prepare to try and win the Olympic Games and uh, I got quite close. <laughs> Can I just chip in that, yeah, the European Championships where I qualified and won bronze with the British crowd. Yeah, that slipped my mind, that's probably better than the world is just. <laughs> Uh, except the Olympic, his best uh, memory is uh, uh, he was selected uh, uh, for the Korean national team uh, members at uh, 20, uh, 2014. Uh, at that time, he attended the World Cup in Colombia. Even though the result was not so good, he was failed at the uh, uh, 18, 8, 8, 8, uh, he failed it, but uh, uh, at the moment, uh, uh, it's, uh, he think it was not failed, it was a success for him uh, to get uh, a more confidence to, for the competition, his answer is. So, it's a question then. Uh, after a competition, good or bad, uh, as you review your performance, what do you do? Yeah, I spend uh, I do it pretty much straight away after the comp, so it's all fresh, um, and then keep a record of everything so um, I can review it um, later on uh, for when performances go good and when performances go bad. I, I've got a record of what um, what was going on at the time. Um, I have two stages to reviewing my performances. Uh, to start with, um, like straight after a competition, I'll think about how I'm feeling, any immediate thoughts, um, I'll write them down as well. Um, how, what, what I think went well and what I think didn't go well and what I need to learn. And then I'll go through the same process again the next day when I'm thinking a little bit more rationally. Um, and, you know, I'll next, I very, very often I'll come up with something that I've learned or I need to work on, so I'll, I'll approach that in, in my training before the next competition and to make sure that 
I, I do learn from that experience and I, and I make sure I, I don't make the same mistake again. I just want to add, um, I do analyse every shot as well after, after the routine. So there's a <clears throat> very quick um, analysis of, of how that shot went, which is why I use a telescope to look at the target, because my eyes aren't that good. Um, so I, can, I, I, I should know, I, I have the feeling of my shot, I'll know really where the arrow's gone, and if the arrow's gone where, it's, where it has what I thought, then I get positive feedback of why it went there, and then I can correct that for the next arrow. Um, if it done, if it goes somewhere else, then I'm starting to think about equipment and maybe something else just has gone wrong. Um, my my review process after major tournaments is most of the time pretty vague. I'll just kind of think about it and try and learn some lessons from it. If I'm specifically preparing for a big tournament, I normally can motivate myself to write it down in my performance analysis journal. But most of the time, when I'm not preparing for something specific, it, I find it hard to basically be motivated to put pen to paper. But I do try and learn from any particular mistakes I made um, to try and stop them from happening again. S similar to Larry, I do um, a sort of reaffirmation of how each shot went. I try my best to reaffirm the positive. If it wasn't such a great shot, I use a scope. I sometimes don't use a scope, it comes and goes. Um, but I, if it wasn't as good as I liked, I'll basically try to imagine that it was a good shot to put that positive back in going into the next hour. The first, first way is uh, you try to uh, uh, forget the, the, the last tournament, uh, even though it's good or not. So it's just you try to forget uh, the tournament, tournament. And then he tried uh, to get uh, to prepare the next, uh, next tournament. Uh, just uh, he want to concentrate uh, uh, his practice uh, to make his uh, feelings, his answers. So I've got a question for Mr. Park and Ku. I was just wondering, uh, just from a historical perspective, why do you think it took so long for Korea to win the men's Olympic gold medal? Why it took such a long time? Because the, the women have always dominated. So I was wondering why the men, it, it was only until 2012 uh, that Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, his uh, question is, uh, his question is uh, why uh, men is uh, so late to get winner in the Olympics, uh, but it's uh, it's not actually. The men is not so late. It's not so late. It's uh, known like that. Uh, of course, uh, what I talked, uh, what I, I talked like this. Uh, even it's not late, but women is uh, earlier than men to get a uh, winner at Olympic or World Championships. I can. The reason is uh, first uh, reason is uh, there is a. Uh, it's not only Korean is strong. There is a. Uh, no strong country for women all over the world. That's the most reason, I think. Uh, and uh, uh, second, uh, uh, the Korean women uh, uh, is not only archery, it's, uh, uh, it's a similar sports with archery, is uh, the golf. Uh, something that kind of very uh, uh, silent sports and need uh, some concentrated sports. That kind of sports in Korean girl is very strong, very strong. So especially uh, the archery also, but golf and uh, uh, the other. What is that? I just remember. I I I don't uh, just remember, but it's a. Uh, just I think like a Korean girl is very strong to concentrate uh, compared to the other countries of uh, unions. Uh.
So just I think like that. The Korean, the sci, uh, science institute, sports science institute also they try to research why the Korean people is strong for the archery, but uh, there is no conclusions. Just they are still, <laughs> still research like that. Yeah. So just I can say. And uh, the Korean, you know, the Korean girls uh, and the uh, Korean men, the swimming form is uh, a little different. Even that they uh, uh, practice uh, under the same coaches. And Korean girl is more, uh, the shooting form is more stable, very standard. I can say most of uh, Korean girls' shooting form is uh, almost the same, but uh, men is different. Everybody, individual. Uh, each each archer is, uh, is different. In case of him, is a very standard. It's a, his a shooting is a is a, is a look like a Korean women's shooting. <laughs> what I mean is very standard. Very, uh, it's a, he has a very nice form. So normal the Korean men even uh, they got gold medal. For example, the O Jin Hyun. You know the original shooting form. She is uh, very different with him, and uh, his shooting form is very. It's it's uh, like a uh, uh, European archers. <laughs> <laughs> but his score, his score, <laughs> his score is uh, he he got the uh, Olympic medals, and uh, uh, still his uh, shooting is very nice. But, but what I mean is that uh, it's a uh, shooting form is also different, different. So. I cannot say just one thing is a strong point, but it's a, I can say like that. Yes. You know, in uh, Korea, you have a proliferation of an awful lot of talent, and we know how difficult it is to get uh, into the Korean team. So, other than those people that we know of, who are household names, like Jae Soon and Kim Won Chan, um, who else is there that you should uh, that you suggest we look out for in the next two to three years who we might not have heard of yet? Uh, in Korean archer, Korean archer, you know the uh, it can shoot over than thirteen hundred. For example, uh, we have uh, the. The Korean national championships uh, at the uh, late of uh, every year, you know, you I think uh, uh, you have uh, the same tournament. Uh, we selected uh, archers, the best archers, uh, over than thirteen hundred shoot in this year for that national or national championships. How many archers can attend? Uh, can you guess that? Mostly. 지금 보통 종 종합 선수권대에 예. 예. 어, 몇명 정도 돼요? 64명, 64명을 뽑지. 예. 그럼 64명을 뽑으면은 제 카트라인 몇명몇점 되나요? 1300 한 4,50점 되는 거. 64. Now the national championship, national championship is uh, the met, uh, the way is uh, different before. Just uh, I remember that. Now I asked to him. Now uh, the Korean archers then select the 64 men archers, women archers. Uh, the, according to their score, uh, in, a, in this year, only this year, the, the last score, the 64th score, fourth score uh, is uh, 13, uh, 40, 50 like that. <laughs> that means, uh, Men and women, uh, they can shoot uh, over the 1340 is uh, over the 64 archers. <laughs> Men 64 archers, women 64 archers. So, so they said like that. Uh, it's uh, more, much more difficult to select it uh, for national team members to get a uh, gold medal at the Olympics. So, so serious uh, for archers. So nobody talked. Uh, Next Olympics uh, national team member who is nobody uh, can guess that even there is uh, many uh, good archers. <laughs> even even he got uh, sorry even he got 
uh, gold medal at the Olympics, but uh, at the next year, could, can be, disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> he has a... Uh, yeah. So, so serious to be selected as a gentleman. Thank you. Find the set system over the older cumulative scoring in the matches. Is it preferred or? I can push up because I've done it. I think this was a cumulative score, um, which actually the best that I found the better archer came through to win the match. Um, now. Nowadays, you um, it is about a possibly a nine arrow three set match. So if you don't get if you don't, if you're not on it from really from the first arrow, you you could potentially lose the match. So yeah, there's a lot. I find there's a lot more upsets now. Um, a lot of um, top archers going out. Just look at Rio when Kim went out. I think second round. Um, should he have gone out? Well, I don't know. I mean, he's you know just shot a world record. So. Is the set system right and fair now? I don't know. I think it's better for the spectators, but um, my personal prefer preference is I preferred the, the longer um, the cumulative score because the better archer would um, normally win that match. I suppose um, the 12 arrow pass would be, um, yeah, fairer, as Larry said. Um, but I think, you know, um, you can go through your matches and say, oh, actually, my, my total score was higher than theirs, but I lost on sets, but um, I've kind of learned to get over that, and I, I just say, you know, it's the sets that, that matter, because if you dwell on the past, then it's not going to help your future. <laughs> I'm too young to have ever shot the <laughs> cumulative system, however, having shot the set system my entire career, I know it, it very much does match up with sort of TV saleability of archery, but it also makes the, the mental game competitive side quite a lot sort of instantaneous rather than a slightly more extended uh, match play. Um, so I'll tune to get the, the best shaft to be in the group with the Fletch Dowies. Um, then I'll do a walk back tune to get my centre shot right, and then I will. <laughs> Sorry. Then I'll, I'll shoot at uh, 70 metres to um, tune um, bear shaft as well. Um, usually my bear shafts will go at about 11 o'clock red. Um, I also like arrow tune, like um, I will shoot all my arrows bear shaft at 70 metres. Um, and not tune them so that I can get the, the tightest group before I put the fetchings on. Yeah, my, mine's pretty much very similar, similar to that. Um, I don't really do 18 metres, I go straight with 30 metres to get my um, uh, knocking point at the right level. Um, but after all these years, I'm pretty good at guess, sort of guessing that now anyway. Um, then I um, go to 70 and see where the bear shaft is. Then I do a, a wall back tune. Um, to get again to get the centre shot right, then we go back to 70 again. Um, and then I do a bit of group tuning. Um, then to select my arrows, like what Naomi said, I'll, I'll shoot bare shafts at 70 metres and um, select the ones which are uh, repeatedly grouped together. I check it once a month. Oh, she checks it once a month, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I very much will admit I feel I'm still very much a novice in this, this category and I, I, I don't, I'm by no means as good as I could be as we have a lot of years of experience here um, and I definitely want to learn as much as I can from them. One of the best things I ha I've, I've found is I go through as much of the process they've talked about and then I do group tuning. Basically I just plop them on a piece of paper and fiddle with my button, fiddle with my knocking point, etc., to basically try and get the best group result I can at 70 meters. Uh, already I asked to him, but he, uh, he has uh, uh, not so many ideas about that. Mostly because, uh, mostly, uh, they are uh, tuned uh, by my employees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, actually, uh, 
tuning is very, very important to uh, get uh, best of performance for both. Uh, it's a normally it's known uh, the bell shaft playing test. Uh, that is the best one for wake up ball. And uh, there is a something you have to consider uh, the error, the error, very, very important the errors. How to select the error? Is uh, all of the error is not consist not same. So uh, how to select the error is the best, very very important things. So you need uh, several uh, 60, 50, 60, 70 errors you need. In case of national team uh, archers, I think I don't know exactly, but over them they selected the errors among over than 100, over than 100 errors. You know that still uh, the best error is known, the X10, isn't it? X10 is much better than AC because uh, uh, X10 is heavy, just heavy, only one reason. Uh, because the light error is no good for both. It makes a, it's a, it's the same uh, principle with the uh, string. String is too light, too steep. Uh, makes more shock for balls. It's uh, uh, no good uh, stable or anything. The light arrow also no good for balls. Still, ball is not enough to get uh, stable something that light arrow. So now most of our archers use X10 heavy arrows only. Is uh, AC and the X10. The difference is, is uh, of course the price is different. <laughs> X10 is much expensive than X, uh, AC, but the difference uh, to pay more uh, expenses uh, to use uh, X10 is only weight. Weight is a little heavy to get more stable for bows. So everybody think uh, for the bows. Uh, thank you. Thanks to them. So, so actually, to get uh, bow stable, that is very important. So. But in case of the arrow, when you select the arrows, then in case of the Korean archers that should uh, select arrows, uh, they should at uh, uh, 30 meters, 50 meters, 70 meters, no matter. That's the, they should uh, bell shaft. They should bell shaft uh, 100 arrows to shoot to the target, and they. Select uh, the arrows, uh, gather one point. There is the arrow is uh, spread uh, like that. There is a uh, divided many groups. One group is here. One group is here. One group is here. So all of the arrows are different. The reason is uh, even the weight is uh, similar, not same, similar. The spine is uh, similar, but the each direction, each direction. The, this way to bend this way to bend this way very different the, the stiffness very different the, uh, the spine each arrow so you have to decide first time you have to decide the, which direction is the most stable to bend it so at this uh, 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 if you decide uh, like selected like that so this uh, this direction is the most stable to bend it, then you have to uh, get it, the top point is here. That is very, very important because when you release it, the arrow bend it like that. So if uh, uh, the spine is uh, different, all of the arrow, even same spine, is written same spine, but uh, each direction, the spine is different. So you have to be selected it. You have to select it. All of that is the arrow, the problem, because the carbon is very, very sensitive. So uh, you check the the top of uh, uh, top point, uh, and then uh, shoot the, all of the arrows to the uh, the distance is no matter, even uh, 50, 30, 70 is no matter. But mostly Korean archers shoot at 70 meters. That is a um, Actually, the 30 meters is better, I think, but it's no matter. Uh, the archers uh, want to select more 
detail, more uh, accurate one, accurate one. So, uh, so after select, uh, the arrow have to select it. And the second thing, for the bows, already I talked to you uh, before, that till height, the most uh, silent uh, point you have to get it. That is uh, influence the uh, influence the score also. Score also. So if you uh, take the best uh, till height, and then if you select the arrows, arrows then. Uh, if you do it only that two point, then you can uh, get uh, the better score. Very, very influenced score at this point. This point. And the other thing is that through the bell shaft plan test, it's most the same in Korea also. Just how to select the arrows and then how to get more uh, the stable stability of both. There is two kinds of things. So I can say two kinds. The bow is a uh, Light, the arrow is uh, how to select it, the consistent perfect one, perfect one. That is important. 